You know, you're not going to do that. Yeah. Scott, you're not going to do, you're going to install this street too? No, not, not right now. All right. You know, it's just proposed to stop at that line, that line across the road would be at the end of the project. The only access to it is off of East Shore Drive. Okay. Now, as things develop up here, of course, we're going to, uh, to install that street and we'll actually apply for some rice funding and if the rice funding would come through, we'd likely get the area to develop. Uh, but the mechanism for developing this park even right now is, uh, even to do that, it looks like a relatively small improvement still going to end up being uh, just right around $200,000 of infrastructure costs. So what we will do is include this entire plat in our urban renewal area that it's now the evaporal urban renewal area and everything in there could be subject to TIF. Um, the other side though is that we will, uh, we're going to have a referendum on a hotel motel tax and we can use a portion of that to fund the debt service on that too. So we would hope to use a portion of hotel motel tax, a portion of TIF and uh, that would pay the debt service on this it's roughly $250,000 by the time you throw everything together that we would, uh, we would pay debt service on that using those two funding mechanisms. Now, uh, because we pay a portion with hotel motel tax, we should be able to release that increment, release any unneeded increment during that time too. So that, um, you know, if the project's $1.7 million, we're not getting increment off of all of that. And, uh, so that would be the uh, the concept on that. But when we talk with the uh, with the county about that, would be this issue of including the Highway 71 right of way in in the urban renewal area too. Now, the basic rule of thumb there is that in order to spend TIF dollars, the area, the physical area, has to be within the urban renewal area. Okay. So what we would look at is this highway right of way that essentially runs from the water tower out to M54. Okay? It is just the highway right of way, it would include no private property. But the concept there is that whether it's in Vapco, whether it's a hotel, or everything around the lake, or I'll pardon you. A mile long. Yeah. <laughs> Scott, I think there's something wrong there. <laughs> But whether it's all those properties or anything around the lake, we would we may potentially have some water supply issues at, at time. And, and uh, there is water service that goes all the way around the lake. But like when you come out here to the back, where they're served by a 10-inch water main that's been by six there and four there. You know, when you really fill the hydraulics, it doesn't work right. So uh, we would explore the idea, and we're in the midst of, of an engineering study right now to determine whether installing this water main that extra mile down the highway would, would assist with any of our water supply problems. Um, if this would be partially funded with TIF, that's the reason why we would include it, include it in the uh, urban renewal area. Now having said that, it's just a, a possibility. There are no plans to, to do this right now, but if you want to lay around and work in case that happens. We are. Um, we're, uh, and we've sat in on different tip, um, discussions and we're in schools. Um, where one of the first questions that we have is, do you have a sunset on your tip? We would, we would not have a sunset on it other than statutory. You know, statutory on an industrial tip is 20 years off of the value of it, the value of the property. So that's 20 years of the evaporate, new, new 20 years starts at the hotel. Um, as a practical matter, we would intend to release the increments as quickly as we can. And that's your commitment? Sorry, that certainly is our intention. <laughs> so I can't, we're not going to commit to anything, Dean. Well, All right, excuse me. I, you I, got the deep main <laughs> Sorry, We're, we're uh, um, in, in, in the knowledge of that we've
gained an inset in on the that was set up for a, a period of years with with the sunset date of, of a given date, which is a an excellent way to do things. It's it's not a forever deal, mm -hmm. and and uh, so that that's important to me. Um, when you go through these, there there are dollars lost to general, and there's uh, general county dollars, and there's also loss to uh, school systems, of which the school systems are back fed 50 percent. Uh, so they're they're giving up 50 percent whatever length of time this this runs. Mm -hmm. um, we're we're certainly in favor of the development. We we would uh, encourage you to have. Uh, a, a sunset date and, and expect you to work hard at that sunset date. Mm -hmm. uh, with that said, uh, what do you guys Well, you know, the VAP, if this is an extension of the VAP, the VAPCO tip? Yeah, it would amend that. It would amend the VAPCO tip area, and that's done more for cash flow purposes more than anything else, because if you establish that new urban renewal area, you have that 18 month time limit for it any additional revenue continue to come in. So in this case, we utilized some of that book tip dollars to start off the the hotel tip, but it, it's just used as as a cash flow method. So we're in the, the fourth or what what year? How long has the back go been? It's 2000. Yeah. So there's only okay, 11 there's only 11 years left in that tip. Yes. We're starting over again. So no, I guess not I'm saying that is that cool property. if it's part of the VAPCO tip and, and it's in uh, there's only 11 years. Well, no, he just said they would start 20 over for the, for the hotel, but not for a VAPCO. The value of VAPCO is certainly released after. And, and you're on target, and that will happen. Yeah, it's proposed to happen after, gee, they to even quote on this, but it's year 13 or 14. That's that's where you are right now. Yes. That's that's where you can think that you can possibly yes. let go of that. Yep. Yep. Our, our our whole I shouldn't say our my perspective and these guys need to weigh in. Um, during during that those periods of years, it, this is a, a a good asset to get infrastructure. There's no question. But during that time, uh, those those groups or investors are using fire and safety and and of which we're all paying for. So that's why it becomes important that, that there is a commitment to uh, when they come on the tax roll at a given length of time. And, uh, we're all in favor of, of getting them up and getting them started, but mm -hmm. there, there is a period when they need to pay their way. Yeah, in a hotel especially. You know, after hotels get about sold, they, they they're worn out, or you got to spend a lot of money. Twenty years seems like a long time for a hotel. Sure. You know the anticipated debt schedule years. on this. Ten is years would be. The anticipated debt so schedule on the hotel is ten years. So why are we talking about twenty? That's the statutory limit on on debt. We're not talking twenty. We're talking ten. <laughs> well, yes and no. On one breath, we're talking twenty, and the second breath, we're talking ten. Okay. Which is I guess I understand the difference. There's a statutory limit is 20 years. That's what we would. That's what we're obligated by a statutory limit. We, the debt schedule we'll put, put forth will be a 10-year debt schedule to be paid off partly with TIF, part of the hotel loan. And when that's done, that is your intention that that's the end of the TIF though. Okay. Having said that, there's there's just so many other potential things that happen in development out there. Plus, understand that's the entire purpose for including this this highway right away, because we may use that money to to assist with the installation of, of the water main. Oh, yeah, I understand. And if that happens, at ten years would be extended. I believe that. What do you guys? With a TIF of 20 years, that's maximum you can go, but you can go less. Oh, and, and we have every intention of going much less. 